Thank you very much. Um, the title is the, uh, the suitable design way for the, uh, the buffer. So um, uh, my presentation uh, the focused on the, uh, the buffer. Uh, I'm afraid to present the, uh, a little bit uh, academic approach. It. So uh, uh, this is now uh, uh, not commercial design based and uh, yet. Uh, uh, this is the outline of my presentation. The first, I'd like to show you the background and the uh, purpose of this uh, research. And next step, uh, I'd like to uh, explain uh, the revised performance requirements in uh, Japanese industrial standards and A4306. Uh, especially, uh, I'd like to show you the uh, slide uh, stroke uh, definition and uh, oblige desolation and uh, breaking performance for the buffers. And the next step, uh, this is a, a research uh, approach. Uh, it means the analytical method and the result using uh, nonlinear dumping characteristics of the buffer. And lastly, the conclusions. The, you are well known that in recent years, uh, further safety improvement uh, has been uh, uh, expected in the lift. There are a lot of safety devices such as shown, um, oh sorry, um, this, this figures uh, were installed to avoid uh, prevent an uh, accident of the user uh, into the lift. So the improbability of uh, the falling down accident, uh, the buffer in the bottom of the lift, uh, hoist away will, will be a uh, key uh, element uh, to prevent the progress to a serious accident. So the, in the, uh, basically, uh, the, we have to uh, consider the, such a, a design way of thinking for the safety design. The one is the difference in depth, and the next uh, safety margin and the fail-safe system for the buffer, and also a uh, redundancy, uh, diversity, and uh, independence for the design way uh, for the buffer. So um, a buffer plays a role uh, to minimize the damage uh, of the passenger from the uh, shock of the falling down accident of the lift car. And for the performance of the buffer, the Japanese standard was revised, including an emergency stop device our oh, sorry, uh, the device in uh, Japanese industrial standard, uh, it's called JIS A4306 in uh, 2016. So in this research, the way of uh, buff design satisfying the safety requirements uh, of the device to JIS is uh, analytically examined. Especially uh, analytical condition is examined in the codes uh, of the using an uh, oil buffer for lift. And in, in this presentation, um, the last year, uh, the fundamental parameters were the shown to satisfy the revised performance regulation. So uh, in this presentation, the way, a uh, suitable way of the design parameters for the buffer of a lift is examined in uh, nonlinear characteristics uh, from a viewpoint of a uh, step of a practical use. The buffer is uh, constructed from uh, several mechanical elements. And the performance requirement of the buffer is uh, standardized by the uh, design-related velocity, basically. Some uh, buffer has a pro uh, possibility uh, to satisfy the safety requirements of a revised JS uh, in spite of the characteristics out of design performance. I'd like to show you later. So in the analysis, the dumping element uh, uh, is uh, considered as a parameter to satisfy the safety requirement in the revised disk. And next, I'd like to show you the revised performance requirements in the uh, revised uh, Japanese industrial standard. Yeah. Uh, the stroke of the oil buffer is for slowing down to glide at the speed uh, 1.15 times of the rating speed in a distillation at a 1 GN. GN means the gravity acceleration. And the stroke uh, of the buffer uh, should be bigger than the smallest 
stroke uh, calculated from the such uh, simple equations. And next, the average and distillation. It is a very important uh, key parameter for the design of the buffers. <coughs> the, uh, the average uh, distillation defines the value that is uh, divided the velocity from the start point to the end of point of slowing down. Uh, I'll like show you next slide in, e de in detail. Uh, by the time from the start point uh, to the end of slowing down. The, uh, this figure shows the, uh, the concept of the uh, time response analysis for the buffer. The upper figure shows the uh, distillation and also the bottom is the relation between the velocity and the times. The average distillation defined formed by the slowing down condition of the buffer. The slowing down origin of the buffer is set in the time the fan uh, uh, acceleration becomes uh, zero uh, meter per square second. And uh, the slowing down end point uh, is set with the point when the uh, distillation becomes uh, uh, 0.5 uh, meter per square second uh, before the uh, velocity uh, the zero uh, meter per minute. And also the uh, duration of a uh, distillation more than 2.5 GN uh, should not be over 0.04 second. It's very short time. So uh, uh, this figure showed uh, one of the examples of uh, buffer characteristics out of the design assumption. The buffer characteristics, uh, characteristic out of design assumption is basically caused by the high capacity buffer and also the lightweight lift card. The uh, shock is absorbed instantaneously by huge desolation in a, a very short time. From a long slowing down uh, section by low vibration reduction, um, Average uh, desolation is uh, reduced in a small range. Uh, such buffer characteristics might be able to uh, satisfy the uh, revised performance requirements, but the uh, characteristics of the buffer does not play uh, a role of other buffers. So, um, example, the desolation with a far higher uh, 2.5 GN occurs instantaneously, but the uh, duration is under uh, 0.04 sec uh, second. The small amplitude uh, distillation under 0.5 meter per square second can elongate until the end of a uh, uh, slowing down point. So this is the, uh, one example of the uh, characteristics of the design assumption. And the uh, last one is the uh, restoring time uh, to origin position of the uh, plunger head. The plunger head should be returned to an uh, original position uh, from the maximum sinking condition of the plunger after external force was released. Uh, and also it should be uh, less than 19 seconds uh, to return the uh, original position. So um, this is a very uh, weak stiffness uh, for the buffers. And let's move on to the analytical method. Uh, the, in the previous study, uh, it's been the last year, uh, the design way of a bu oil buffer was examined to satisfy the device standard, uh, just A4306, uh, from the relation between the natural frequency and the dumping ratio and uh, using a one, degree of freedom model, an analytical model, a uh, case of uh, linear dumping characteristics. Uh, so uh, the, this uh, research step, the nonlinear time response analysis is uh, conducted by using the analytical model uh, assumed an actual buffer with the uh, nonlinear dumping characteristics. The figure shows the uh, simplified analytical model of nonlinear time response analysis and also the equation of motion that follows. The key is uh, such a dumping characteristics. 
And uh, in this time, uh, we assumed uh, such a nonlinearity of the dumping uh, characteristics uh, for the response analysis. Uh, it's uh, very simple, the uh, uh, first order uh, equation uh, for the dumping effect. And also the mass of lift card is uh, two-toned and uh, uh, initial velocity and the uh, spring constant has shown uh, these uh, values. And this figure shows the image uh, for the nonlinear dumping force uh, obtained by the uh, gap of the uh, orifice part. It means the uh, fluid resistance um, a loss uh, for the dumping. The, before the nonlinear time response analysis, the analytical parameters uh, of nonlinear dumping characteristics are examined in condition with the alpha itself or beta itself. The analytical parameter uh, P is the uh, one in this time that because the fundamental qualitative tendency is examined uh, at first of the research project. And uh, also the equation of motion is solved by using a Lunge-Kutta-Gill method uh, for the nonlinear time response analysis. Uh, this figure shows uh, one of our uh, exam uh, analytical results, and uh, this figure shows the relation between uh, sinking displacement in the horizontal axis, and also the vertical axis means uh, for dumping for maximum dumping force. Uh, in such a uh, uh, fast order equation, the, if the beta is L and the P is equal one, and alpha is in uh, such a range, uh, the dumping coefficient equal to uh, alpha x. Uh, it means uh, uh, dumping coefficient depends on the uh, sinking displacement. So it was confirmed that the maximum displacement uh, decreases and also the maximum force increases by increasing uh, uh, parameter alpha. And next, uh, this figure shows the relation between the uh, maximum sinking displacement and the maximum dumping force of the buffer. In the case of a beta, is the parameters. The beta is in a such range and alpha is constant. In such case, the dumping coefficient equal to uh, alpha x plus beta. Uh, the, it was confirmed that the displacement uh, decreases and also the maximum force, dumping force increases by the increasing the beta. Uh, it's a, a, a same tendency uh, in the case of alpha. So, uh, time response analysis is carried out using alpha as a parameter for a nonlinear uh, dumping and effect. Uh, this figure shows the one about time response analysis, uh, the same uh, meaning of the image of a time response analysis. The upper figure shows the duration against the time, and also the bottom is the velocity uh, for the uh, time response. And uh, in detail, the, this figure shows the response analysis uh, result, the time response tendency and the displacement and the velocity and the acceleration after a car impact to a buffer of the analytical parameter alpha. The response displacement the duration time of a storm down uh, decreases, increasing alpha and uh, increasing alpha leads to the maximum acceleration and the duration time of uh, uh, the very short uh, by the increasing the alpha. So uh, this is the last uh, analytical result. Uh, this, this figure shows the uh, suitable range of the parameter alpha uh, for the regulatory uh, requirements. The, if the average desolation does not exceed uh, one GM, and in that case, the alpha, parameter alpha, uh, is uh, smaller than the 7.2 uh, by uh, 10 uh, times five, and also the maximum stroke becomes over the, uh, over the smallest uh, stroke, it means uh, uh, 0.15 meter, uh, the parameter of alpha uh, is uh, smaller than the such value. 
So uh, we have to choose the such uh, dumping uh, force uh, caused by the parameter alpha. Uh, it means the specification condition of a buffer in the case of a satisfying the uh, revised safety requirement and the nonlinear dumping characteristic possibility. And finally, I'd like to show you the conclusion. The this, uh, research had uh, carried out about the suitable design way. Uh, now, uh, this is a little bit academic uh, research uh, approach uh, of the lift buffer to satisfy the revised industri uh, industrial standard, GIS A43-1046 uh, uh, from the time response analysis using an analytical model of nonlinear dumping characteristics uh, using a one freedom model. As a result, it was confirmed that the analytical parameter alpha was obtained to satisfy the performance requirement from the nonlinear timeless response analysis using an analytical model of nonlinear dumping characteristics. And uh, in the next step, uh, in the uh, next year, uh, the analysis will be conducted to investigate an actual condition by considering the effect of uh, gravity uh, for the car of the uh, lift. And also the uh, car load uh, will be changed to satisfy the several load conditions. Thank you for your kind attentions. <laughs>